There was a young man who came to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam complaining to the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He said to him, Ya Rasulallah, my father takes my money. He always asks me for money. Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, well, call your father. He went to call his father. Jibril Alayhi Salam came to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in that time. And he said to him, Rasulullah, when the father comes to you, ask him what you want. But ask him this question as well. Ask him, what were you saying in secret on your way here? Father was muttering something which his son couldn't hear. He said, ask him what he was saying. When the father approached the Rasul Sallallahu and asked him, is it true what your son is saying? The father said, Ya Rasulullah, if he only knew what I'm using his money for anyway, I'm using it to look after his poor auntie. She is left without anybody. Where else am I putting it only in places where I have to? Using it towards his family because I'm poor. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi said, look, ask, I want to ask you a question. Tell me about what you were saying in secret when you were coming towards me here. The father looked at the Prophet ﷺ and said, I made some verses of poetry. Rasul ﷺ said, Please say them to me. And he said, O oh son, I nourished you when you were a baby. And I looked after you in care as you grew up until you became an adolescent. You lived upon what I worked for and strived and sacrificed in my body and time and wealth so that you may live healthy. Whenever a night passed you, when you were sick or ill or coughed, I was the first to be up, carrying you and looking upon you with my heart, afraid if an atom or a little breeze would harm you in any way. I could not sleep while you seeing you sick until you slept and then I slept. When I ceased to see you sick, it was as if I was the one who was sick and ill. And so my eyes would always overwhelm with tears, but you never knew. And when you finally reached the adulthood, which all my life I was anticipating and looking forward to seeing you become that. I mean, this is all he's doing, right? He's raising him, waiting for the day he's going to get married. The day when he will get his qualifications and finish. The day when he will get his skill. The day when he can stand on his feet. The day when he will rejoice. He said, until you reach the day when I have all my life anticipated in my heart to see you reach and rejoice. You gave me a reward. And your reward was harshness. And frowniness. And mistreatment as if I am the one who owes you and you owe me nothing. The way you treated me is like what a neighbor would treat his neighbor. I wish that you even gave me that. Rasul he looked up at the father and the father looked at him and the Prophet's beard was soaked with tears. From his emotion, Rasul grabbed the boy from his chest. He shook him and said to him, you and everything you own belongs to your father. This uh, hadith is narrated in Ibn Majah. 